So, all right. So, uh, welcome back. Um, let, let's quickly touch up on the on the City Marathon. Absolutely. And uh, of course, you were there. You were at the press conference where uh, they, you know, let the press know what what, what uh, they're planning and, and all the issues. But, but what was your takeaway from from that event? Yeah, I think it's going to be making Nigeria more like a hub for marathon right now because uh, what they, what they actually talked about that, that I loved was the fact that you have a long stretch of road that is not being used, mm -hmm. about 10 kilometers at a stretch, and the fact that everyone, when you're talking about some cities in Nigeria, there's something that's synonymous with all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, business, commerce, that's on each other. But then this time around, they want to try as much as possible to attract other things, and sports is obviously one of them. Marathon is a way to go. They're actually trying to model this after the New York City Marathon. It's going to take a while because this is going to be the very first edition and all that. And knowing that even the IWF had to certify it even before it comes because they came and checked the road and discovered that ground work, ground work was already proper. done and all that. So that is something we need to take away from. But then let's uh, listen to one of the organizers talking about the reason why they had to do this and what uh, most people that are coming, uh, what they will benefit and also the city itself. Onisha City Marathon, if that is not known yet, I know that some of us have come to it. It's the first city marathon, road race, half marathon in Nigeria, I may not talk about Africa for now, that received certification before the Madden event. And uh, we are glad to have the partnership in the face of marathon in Nigeria in our mentor, whom we call the, you call him Skipo, we call him Mentor, we call him the face of marathon in Africa. I tell us uh, we are not going to take it for life because our vision is to become the best referent of marathon in Africa. We will not only relent on that, we were going to this city marathon, we bring a lot of good news to the continent of Africa. We are going to associate ourselves with the component of the marketplace evolutions and the technological evolution that will bring marathon entrepreneurship. We don't want to call it sport entrepreneurship, marathon entrepreneurship, that we make every stakeholders, every participant in this sector proud and lift up his or her head to say, now we have come. <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I love the words I'm hearing there. Uh, I love the idea behind uh, all of this. And, uh, of course, uh, it's very good. Guess who showed up at that event? Just, just guess who showed up. The world rapper man himself, uh, Adajo Obaro, uh, someone who's made Nigeria proud, who's been everywhere, uh, you know, running marathons with his rapper. So uh, let's, let's, let's take a listen to the world rapper man sharing his thoughts uh, about uh, the Onisha City Marathon. Based on the topography of Onitsha, the landscape is... For me, as a world rapper man, I'm a, I'm a cultural runner. I'm excited, super excited. I've never had an opportunity to run the southeast. And I've always been planning to run the Niger Bridge. And um, when the Lagos City Marathon manager contacted me, I was so excited. I was like, oh, it has happened finally. And um, again, it's interwoven with... Ofala Festival. Never been to Ofala Festival. It's an opportunity to see a lot of the tourist sites in Onitsha. And um, I can't wait to get to Onitsha. 